Hey and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to look at how we can you know add in a refresh button and as well improve the performance of our SwiftUI app. So if you actually just look at our app here for example when we actually switch between the tabs you notice that every single time it's actually calling the service. Now what's going on here is it's actually not recreating the screen every single time but what's happening is that in our people view if we just go into that the task modifier is almost like an on appear. So because this view has now appeared, it's now basically triggering the call to fetch our data every single time. Now, what would be better is that if we actually went off the screen and went back onto it, it didn't make this call and it only called the API once and it gave the user the ability to choose whether they want to refresh the screen. So the benefits of you doing this is that essentially you're not going to make unnecessary calls and the user can choose when they want to make a call within the application. Now, we can't add pull to refresh to our lazy V grid in iOS 15 but it's something that you can do from iOS 16 upwards in Xcode 14. So what we're going to do for this video to get around that is add a refresh button into the top left hand corner of our. The first thing we want to need to do to actually tackle the issue of stopping unnecessary reloads is in our people view, we're going to need to create a state property to tell us whether the view has appeared. So what this Boolean does is and what it's going to do is it's going to actually help us track whether the view has appeared or not so if the view has appeared we're going to use this to basically control whether we should make a request to the service so within our task we're going to want to write some logic to basically check to see whether the view has appeared and if it hasn't then we're going to set this to true so within here what we're going to say if it hasn't appeared so if has appeared is equal to false then we're going to fetch our data and then only after successfully fetching our data we're then going to say has appeared is equal to true so what's going to happen here now is that when we switch between the tabs it's going to load the data for the first time because has appeared is equal to false and then after fetching the data it's going to it's going to set has appeared to true and then now because this is true we won't be able to actually execute the code within this block here so let's just test this out so you see it fetches our data and then if we just go onto the tab and then go back onto it, you'll now see that we don't have any unnecessary API calls anymore. We're only fetched it the one time. So this is in way more performant than what it was before. Cool. So like I said before, you may want to give someone the ability to actually, you know, refresh the screen if they do want to get the latest data. So what we want to do is actually add in a refresh icon into the top left hand corner here so that someone can refresh the screen. So we don't actually have an SS symbol for this, but I actually know what this is. It's called arrow clockwise. And we're going to add this into our symbols. So underneath our check mark, let's just add this in. I'm going to call it refresh. So now what we want to do is copy what we did before with our create button. So just so we can see this on the screen, so we're going to say underneath here, we're going to say toolbar. Item. And then we're going to say the placement needs to be navigation bar leading. And then I'm just going to create a property within here that we're going to actually create in a second. So we're going to call this refresh. Now, obviously, this doesn't exist because we don't have it in this file yet. But we just scroll down here. We're underneath our create button. We're just going to say var and then refresh. And then some view. And then within our refresh, we're going to create a button. And we want this button to be an action and a label. So within our label, we want it to be our refresh that we said before. And then our code, we're just going to leave that empty for now. So just so we can see this on the screen, I'm just going to close this. And we're just going to use a canvas. Cool. So now we should see our refresh button on the screen. 
So what we want to do is that when we're actually fetching some kind of like data, so when our view is actually loading, we want to disable this button because we don't want someone to be able to just like tap it and, you know, spam it. So here we're going to say the same thing that we did for our create button. We're just going to say dot disabled. And then we're going to say view model dot is loading. So when it's loading, it should be disabled like so. So if loading is equal to true, then it will be disabled so you can't interact with it. Cool. So within our button, we're going to write the code to fetch the users. So all we need to do in here is just simply create a task. And then we just need to say await view model dot fetch users like so. Cool. Sweet. So what we want to do now is actually just test this out. So in order to test this out, let's run on a simulator because we can test out switching between the tabs as well. So it loads our data here. We switch between the tabs and we don't get any unnecessary reloads. And then if we tap on the refresh button, we now get the capability where it refreshes our screen for us as well. So this is all great. So now we've improved the performance of our application and we're not making unnecessary reloads you know reloads anymore we're just able to just refresh the screen whenever we want to so that's everything in this video if you enjoyed this video i'd really appreciate it if you left some comments with some feedback in the comment section below also as well if you haven't already i'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel and hit notification bells get updates for whenever i release a new video that's everything from me i'll catch you on a bit deuces